Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Hard Mode. We are back once again trying, 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 trying to get through the first few floors. We did our first episode and it went decently. We actually got to the second floor boss, which is further than I was expecting to get, to be honest. Uh, let's play as the convict this time. I'm feeling the convict's extra damage is going to be pretty vital here. I'm pretty sure hard mode stays on. Yes, it does. Between player sessions, great. Uh, <laughs> not going to be touching you for a while, so he makes everything jammed. Also, there is this mode too. Sudden death, which I didn't talk about previously, which basically is the shade, but on any character. One hit will kill you, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we also have to do boss rush at some point, so that's going to be fun. But let's carry on through, <clears throat> head down in, and see how we go. See if we can make it past the first few floors. And a few of you out there, uh, well, I say mo more than a few of you, a lot of you out there seem to really, really like hard mode, the series, and watching it and seeing me play it. I'm really, really happy to see that. I was really hoping that this series would sort of revitalize Enter the Gungeon for both me and my viewers, and it definitely seems to have... Um, it seems to have given a bit more fresh life to it. And even on top of that, a few of the modders, such as Cell, have offered to, um, oh my god, have offered to actually help out in terms of, like, balancing for hard mode. For example, if there's, oh my god, if there's any specific items within her pack that are too overpowered, uh, or feel a bit too cheesy for hard mode, she said she's completely willing to disable them for me, which is super kind. I'm very appreciative of that. Oh my god. So, as you can see, we've already taken half. Oh, yes. I, I completely forgot. Enemies can't be set on fire. The Molotov's almost useless. It does all next to no damage. Next to no damage. Okay, by the way, as well, something. Um, Spree Create, the, the maker of this mod, actually told me that the chain gunners, when there's two of them in one room, move much slower. That's why last episode we noticed the slowdown, which is a super cool little quality of life feature he's added in there. I feel like that's one thing that Spree Crit's done a really good job of. He's really put a lot of focus into making sure it's still fair. It's not just hard for being hard sake. Oh my god. It's still very fair. Um, and it's still very manageable. And that's what I love. Like, there is still a chance. It's not just the game's ridiculously hard, tough shit. It's... The game's ridiculously hard, but if you play well and if you learn the patterns, you can get better, and you will get better. Um, so let's hope that we can do that. Oh my god. Oh, I love these attacks. They're so good. The mages have by far my favourite attacks. Especially considering, like, they linger for so long. It, 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 like, takes up so much room and makes it so hard to dodge other enemies. Also, another thing that's a, a big jump for us. We haven't played hard mode in a little while here, so... Uh, I'm also not used to the speeds of hard mode in... Uh, hard mode, sorry. Uh, turbo mode. I'm not used to the speeds of turbo mode in general. So we're having to sort of reacquaint ourselves with turbo mode. As well as get familiar with hard mode as well. Um, which, even in testing, I haven't played hard mode for quite a little while. Got some good stuff here. I'm actually just going to buy a full heart. As I said earlier, um, the the dynamic of, of what's worth what in shops and chests and things has completely changed. And something that before I would never, ever, ever, ever do is buy HP. And now that's going to be kind of common practice. It's, it's actually going to be something that we do pretty regularly, in fact. Uh, we're going to be opening all the chests. Anvilin is awesome as both a room clearer and a boss killer. Uh, of course, I'm not going to go for it too much. We do have our soul off as well, which I haven't really been using, but I very rarely do as this character anyway. So let's check what other chest is before we open that. We can check to see if it's a mimic. Okay, we'll definitely open this first. All portal bullets. Interesting. And you know what? Let's open up this as well. Alien Engine. Oh, boy. I don't think I'll be using that much. Uh, Orbital Bullets is going to be interesting, certainly. Uh, I, I, I like it as an item. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think Orbital Bullets can be pretty good. We really need to use that damage boost whenever we get hit as much as we possibly can. We're really not taking as much advantage of it as we should be. All right. Nice one. We got him. Really depends on what spawns to how difficult it is. <gasps> When it's bloody ghosties like this. Also, you might be noticing there's new enemies. Not new enemies, but like there's bats in the room that didn't spawn there. Sometimes when these guys phase out, they spawn bats. As you can see here, the spectral ones. Got to be very careful about that. Yeah, we took some damage there. Has to be said, these guys. Oh my god. This room is like so not worth coming into. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die before the first boss. <laughs> I have good things. Be kind to me, game. Oh, we're on one heart already. Let's see what boss we get. Oh, and we get the hardest one by far as well. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that attack. Relatively, at least. <laughs> what is going on right now? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Look at all these anvils. I'm going to try and use them as best I can to deal extra damage. It seems to be working. I did just get hit. I don't have any blanks left. No! <laughs> I didn't have any blanks left. That was pretty interesting for a, for a first run there, but there's another death on the docket. Oh my god. As I said, getting through the first floor... I don't know why my mouse is here. Okay. Getting through the first floor genuinely something that's actually pretty difficult now. <laughs> it ain't easy. It ain't easy at all. So we do have to be sort of prepared and ready. So we can still deal some damage with fire. You can see they're still ticking for damage. They just don't get set on fire anymore. My god. Use the extra damage while we can. Good, good. Oh my god. Open this straight away. We got ourselves the dragon scale, which I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it lays a burning pool and we get hit um, under certain conditions. I think I think it's either when we use our active item or it's when we get hit, it lays like a pool of fire. I also think it makes us fire immune as well, if I remember correctly. Oh my god. Ah, ah. Take care of the Rubikin. Rub oh my god. Okay, no, it just sets everything in the room on fire. But this time, they actually do burn. Interesting. So it it bypasses the hard mode condition of them not being able to set on be set on fire. Interesting to note. Interesting to note. I like that a lot. So that's actually really good for us, because we're going to be getting hit a, a, a mighty amount. A mighty amount. So that's actually pretty useful for us. Being able to clear up enemies a little faster is really good. Turkey, give us some HP. I know that sometimes the takers can drop HP, so I was, I was just hoping. My hope of hopes. It's, it's probably kind of better for us to try and do the boss as early as possible. <gasps> oh my god! Ah! He has a mega hand! <laughs> oh my god! That bullikin had a mega hand. Stay away from me. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Cheap cheeps. Not even cheap cheeps. The GG's. Oh my god, they're horrible. Holy heck. This is just insane. No. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not even gonna make it to the boss at this rate. This room is a nightmare factory. <laughs> We died again. Oh, that room was was just t too difficult to not do without a weapon. That's one of the things as well, like, getting to your chests early and opening them is, like, pretty high priority in this as well, so that's another big part of how we have to change our play style. Before, it's always leave your chests until you've done everything else, sometimes even including the boss, uh, but now you want to open your chests literally as soon as you can. We are getting a lot of these boys. Also, remember, tables are really, really good. Use them. Use the turkey to deal damage. It kind of worked. I did get hit, though. No! I didn't think he was going to get a chance to shoot again. Oh, my God. We're, we're like, routinely losing a full heart in our first room. No! Oh. Got hit that by a bullet kin. Oh, it's so scary. Right. Use the tables. Use them. Okay, stop giving me ammo, game. You're just taunting me at this point. I need a gun, please. A gun would be great. This room is... This is nightmare fuel. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, another thing is as well, which I really like. Gun nuts are really... Some of the some of the most difficult things in the game. I can't remember what cyclone boots do. Seems to let us dodge roll a lot quicker. Um, because if you are on the wrong side of them when they fire, you you are in a bad spot. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Rolling pushes enemies away. Okay, it's one of my bigger rooms. 
Yeah, that's actually really useful. Being able to push enemies away from us. Okay, careful of that guy laying fire about. Yeah, we can make our way over this way. It seems to give us a, maybe it's giving us a roll boost. I can't exactly tell, but being able to push enemies away is pretty good here. Luckily, I've, I've laid myself a lot of cover in this room, so we should be okay. Good. Lot of lot of grenades, lot of nitrous, all this jazz. Oh my god, the rubberkin are the scariest thing ever. Not not really when there's not other enemies in the room, but generally. Ooh, okay. We should use this as much as possible to get it to its last form. It actually, it's actually pretty good damage on these early floors anyways. Oh my god, I can't hit because the barrels. Bulletkins are genuinely scary now. They're genuinely very terrifying. Oh, every time I enter this room, I feel like I've made such a mistake. <laughs> this room's so difficult. No, nope, I got hit every time. I every time in this room I get hit. I swear every time. We're on one heart left. I'm gonna let this room take care of itself. I think. Yeah, that actually worked out just fine. <laughs> okay, we need to find our shop with this, which is probably like this way here. Uh, yeah, because we are gonna die if we don't. Okay, nice. Managed to kill that guy with a chandelier. We got Junklets and Yellow Guanstone. Junklets is actually pretty good. We can get damage for scrapping chests. Don't really want to scrap chests, though. Let's just buy a key. I would buy health, but it's only a half heart. I'm not going to spend that much money on a half heart. The value just isn't worth it. I'd rather have the chance at a better gun. Okay, these guys are Nightmare Fuel. And there we get another key anyways. We got ourselves Endless Bullets. I'm guessing this is just infinite range. Um, yeah. Infinite range and all weapons. Okay. On to the boss again. Gatling Gull. Nope. The Bulletkin, again. That attack needs blanking so bad. Oh my god. We're on fire. Please give me my second form of this gun, please. I need the second form. There you go. Oh, I, I love that attack. That attack feels so satisfying to dodge. Nope. I blanked way too early there. Yep. I blanked way too early there. Oh my god. Oh, will we get past the first floor today? Trigger twins are my best bet. Trigger twins are my best bet at getting past the first floor. Because... They are, they're still difficult, still really difficult, but they're definitely the easiest of the bunch. They're definitely who I have the best time against. But this is giving me a real appreciation for how hard the game feels like when you first start playing. This is genuinely what the game feels like when you first start playing. I remember, like, feeling like every enemy is just like, how am I ever going to get past this? And it's going to, it's going to feel like re-experiencing that all over again. That, that one had a nail gun. Oh my god. If we do want a, a te technically like an easier time to get some extra items, we could go to the um, the expand the gungeon floors because a lot of the enemies down there haven't been reworked. I mean, a lot of them also have, but but there's also a good amount that haven't. So we could go down there to get a slightly easier time, but I'm not going to cheese like that. I'll just kind of wait until um, the patterns get added for the enemies down there. This is um, is not really that good for us, to be honest. It gives us flight. One, once we get hit, it, its ammo disappears. It's really good until then. In fact, we probably don't want to use it for a bit. Maybe we'll try use the sawn off a little bit, shall we? Oh, not a great idea. But yeah, we'll, we'll try and use that for the boss. Oh my god. You've with the with the GG's, oh my god, I got hit. You've got to play them in such a way where their shot actually hits a wall. You've got to try and purposely make it hit a wall. Otherwise it just keeps coming at you like four or five times and it's really difficult to deal with. Oh my god. We still haven't had like a super OP item room yet, Keekin. Even even on this mode, I need to go for him. Got him. Too valuable. 
to not go for. How did I not get hit there? Sometimes you see when the bullet king just does like the absolute pop pop of his dreams and fires off like 20 shots. Them, them moments are pretty crazy. This is going to be a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. There's so many grenades and they can jump so far and leave fire everywhere too. This is one of the big reasons why the enemies can't be lit on fire because there's a lot of enemies that create fire and it would, it would lead to a lot of enemies just killing each other. And obviously that's kind of takes takes a lot away from hard mode if they're all just committing suicide left, right, and center. Okay, budget revolver's doing us a fine job right here. Oh, okay, item room come to me. Okay, this is this is the first one of these rooms I've had to deal with that is like going to be a bit more difficult. It's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. I was expecting this to be a hellscape and it's it's been fine. Oh my fucking lord. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. I was expecting that to be a nightmare. This room didn't didn't hurt me anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to. Open that up. Reflecting bullets with a roll and contact immunity. That's actually pretty good. Good. Whip, whip. Shop what you got for me. The bootleg pistol. Um, that will blow up if we get hit. I think I'm just gonna buy a full heart and and be on my merry way. Thank you, sir. Right. Oh, my God. Uh, probably don't want to open up secret rooms. Let's try using this thing, but I have a feeling it's gonna be gone pretty soon. Does good damage, but. It's not going to last. We did get a flawless last episode, though, against the Gatling Gull, so it could happen. Right, let's switch off it. Just so if we get hit, we don't lose it. Basically, we're just going to switch to it when we think we're not going to get hit, and then switch off it when we do think we're going to get hit. Like, switch off it now. So don't mind losing the flawless too much, but if we lose the gun as well, that would be very sad. Well, not the gun, but the ammo in the gun. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Okay, we got him. We got the flawless as well. Gatling Gull with the purse in the room is definitely one of the easier bosses. And isn't this a synergy? It is. Oh, my God. I can't remember what the synergy does, to be honest. I think this is one that, that has all the lanterns, isn't it? Paper lanterns, yes. Actually, a pretty good synergy. I'm pretty happy with that. Right. Let's pop this open. Didn't get anything there. Not going to be in there. I reckon it'll be in here. Let's just blank it and see. Yes. Also, big yes. Big yes. Big yes. Holy heck. I don't even know if I want remote bullets. Do I want remote bullets? I, I don't want remote bullets. I actually think get... Wait a minute, it's a cell creep up there. Don't just drop it, sell it. Okay. Oh my god, right. Buy a key. Head down to the next floor. That that has been our best performance as of yet. Probably going to use the Oregoni now. I know that that does have built-in remote bullets, so I'm kind of a dumbass. But the paper lanterns, if I remember correctly, make it pretty good. Also, the Predator here does allow us to steal, which is pretty important. Pretty important. I'm pretty sure this was paper lanterns, or is it only... Oh, there you go. There's the paper lanterns. They roam around doing their thing. I'm pretty sure if they hit enemies, they do significant damage. We've got a bat dude down here that we want to take care of. He fires a lot of shots. Just stay calm. Stay cool. Stay collected. Don't worry about it too much. In fact, let's switch to the Predator and use that a bit. Okay, these are the rooms that, that give me nightmares. Because I made these rooms. And that scares me. I want to see how balanced they end up being. <laughs> That's not good. 
That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh my god. 50% chance of an enemy to explode violently on death. That's not something we want. I mean, it might. It might end up being. As long as we can keep our distance, but oh my god. That, that could be pretty detrimental for us here. Oh my god, those bats are insane. Okay, oh my god. I'm so very scared. Just give me cover. That exploded. Okay, this is going alright. This predator is doing as good. Don't fire! Oh my god. Go away. Okay, these rooms aren't actually too bad. We're doing fine. We're doing just fine, surprisingly. I want to go to my shop before I go to um, Winchester. Oh my god. Where you at? There you are. Okay, this is a potential third floor run. I have a feeling that we could get to the third floor here. This could be something that carries us. Getting past the first floor is one of the hardest things, apparently. Bad room, but the explosions, the chain reactions are helping us out. Flak bullets are pretty good. Um, do you know what? I'm even going to steal them. I know you have to waste some ammo to do this, but I'm fine with it. Give me flak bullets. Right. Winchester. It is time. We actually have to go through his game to get to the next area as well. This is not an easy one to win, but we'll try it. First one I just kind of go with. Second one, same. Just kind of go and see what happens. Third one, fucked that one completely. Ah, balls. Good enough. We got ourselves. Funky bullets. This gives us a bunch of weird stats on our uh, on our weapons. Some good, some bad. For the most part, I think funky bullets are pretty decent. I'm pretty sure it gives them bouncing as well. Yeah, it does because it gives them one bounce. Oh my god. Also, I've not even spoke about how good stealth is for entering a room with. Very nice. Oh, the beadies. The scary beadies. Oh, I got hit there. Damn. I didn't even see that coming. Didn't even see it coming. Is that a mimic? No, it's not. I the holster. Nice. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. The holster. He has custom guns now. You might be, you might be seeing that he has a Yari launcher in his hand and an old Goldie. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. I forgot that he did this. I forgot that he did this. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I got hit again. He's, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Blank. Ow, I got hit again. No. We're so close. We did it. We did it. With one heart. Well, two hearts now. We are heading on to the next floor. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. And unfortunately I did get hit and lose my um my very lovely balloon gun, which is a shame. I still have it, but it's no it has no ammo. Oh. Yeah, the predator here has been a saving grace for us. But as you can see, the predator is like more top tier than normal. Oh, really? Really? I almost died immediately. I almost lost a full heart immediately. I'm going to say died. Oh, no. That's a small room. Taking ammo for this bad boy. It's too good. Can I make this? Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's a big boy. And his attacks are really unfriendly. Really quite very unfriendly. Don't do it again, you bastard. Oh my god. 
And you give and end jammed him as well. Could <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone, Gim. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Just 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 let me Oh my god. Just let me be Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna steal from her as well. Oh my god, I'm getting the hyper bullets. Supersonic shots. <laughs> it makes this thing it looks like a shotgun now, doesn't it? Literally is exactly what it says. It just makes your shots go super, 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 super fast. Oh my god. I am definitely afraid of quite literally everything that's happening here. Give me that heart now. <laughs> raccoon, no! Ah! The raccoon distracts me. Give me a gold casing, you absolute beast. Oh my god, you can already tell how much harder the rooms have gotten there. Ah, no! Blue guy! The cube! <laughs> the cube! <laughs> that is the coolest attack pattern I've ever seen. Oh, my god. Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky right now. I'm getting so lucky right now. Holy heck. By the way, this floor's bosses are real nutty. Real nutty. Oh my god, the focus in my heart right now. No, I got hit. This explosion thing is saving us so much. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> Let's get the crap out of me. Chance belongs are awesome. I'm scared for what happens when we run out of ammo on this gun. Mutation. I'll take it. This has some ammo now. What the hell do these things do? Okay, they're not actually too bad as long as you have cover. They just they just do the exact same thing but fire a lot more shots. Also, what do these things do? I kind of want to watch and find out. Oh my god, they move. <laughs> Lead maidens too. What is this room? I made this room, didn't I? I made this room, didn't I? Why am I like this? I just put all the big- ah, I got hit again! I just put all the big boy enemies in one room. Why did I do this? Oh my god. This is a room where we could die. Genuinely. This enemy is so tough. Yeah, we died. The mushroom enemy is insanely tough. That was a valiant effort. Holy hell, that was a valiant effort. We tried. We tried, but we did not succeed. But we finally got past the second floor. We finally got past the second floor. That is... That is an achievement for the second episode. I'm pretty darn happy with that. I wasn't expecting to get to the second floor on the first episode, and I wasn't expecting to get to the third floor on the second episode, but we did it. And I'm very happy about that fact. But it just goes to show that, like, one of the pretty, pretty strong prerequisites to us doing well is getting a good weapon early. <laughs> if we can get a good weapon early, things, things start to go our way a lot more quickly. Oh, what did I do that for? This room is nightmare fuel. We are, we are, we are. Don't waste ammo. I mean, we have an infinite ammo pistol, but shush. Honestly, escape rope is pretty good. <laughs> if we come across a room we don't like, we just get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. We don't need to complete rooms that we don't like. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I not get hit there? That... That went surprisingly well. Wait a minute.
Chest! Why? <laughs> I could have opened you. God damn it. Oh my god. Books are really dangerous too. We just really got to use cover to the best of our ability. We've really got to pay attention to what cover is available to as the sword attack. Oh my god, it's so cool. Yeah, really got to pay a, a, a good attention to what cover is available to us. And make sure we use it all appropriately, because otherwise we're going to die a lot. The blue shotgunners are absolutely fine if they're at a distance. It's when they're up close or there's multiple of them that it really gets to the point where it's pretty difficult to dodge them. What are you? Chain gunner. We should be fine against him. That should be him dead. Good, good. Chain gunners really aren't that hard when they're on their own. The bloody... Oh my god. The veterans are insanely hard. Also, the AK guys are really tough, too. A lot of the enemies we never thought as threats are now, like, huge threats. Hey, a nice reprieve. These enemies haven't been reworked at all. Ah. Time to chill. Oh, a nice relaxing regular old room. Ah. How relaxing and normal. Right, I need a gun, so I'm going to do this. Can't buy that yet. I need 30 for a heart. That's not good. God's sake. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh my god, right. Buy a heart, because we've got much, much, much else to spend our money on here. We might as well fill up. And we're having to do the boss fight with the pistol, which I really don't like to do, but we're going to have to. And it... Bullet King. King, sorry. Again. Is this the third time now? Oh, no. We, we, we did get... um We did get... Mr. Bird Boy once, didn't we? Okay, can you, can you not, sir? Oh, I lagged. Oh, my God. The lag is so much more infuriating than normal now. I am so proud that I just dodged that then. Oh my god. I feel like I'm getting used to some of the patterns now, at least a little bit. Nope. Oh my god, the timing was so off then. Use the double damage quickly. Oh my god, no. No! Uh, <laughs> I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Oh, there's another death on the docket. Oh my god, we're nine deaths on this series already. Nine deaths. We had two deaths in an entire 100% save file. Well, no, one death, really. And that was to challenge mode. This time around, it's like, yeah, you're episode two. He's got a silencer. He's got a silencer. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Oh, nope. Chandelier. No, what the hell? This little fucking... <laughs> That was evil. That little dude just flew right into me. He's like, contact damage. Look, he's got a lowercase r. Make sure we're behind him. Never be in front of that guy when he fires. Right. Try and use that Molotov. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. We're, we're, we're definitely improving. I can feel I'm learning the patterns and getting better. We're certainly improving. Robokin, you need to go. Just certain rooms are just too much, man. Okay, as long as you roll as they hit you, them guys aren't that big of a threat. It's a secret room right here. Ah, oh, no, it just really looks like it. 
God damn this room. The fact that it spawns a grenade is the worst thing about it. The arrow can really aren't that big of a problem. It's this grenade that it spawns is the big problem. Sometimes it does that and just blows up. Other times, it's a pain. Alright, good, good, good. Keep on moving on. Get behind this guy. Nice. Okay. Hardish room. Stay on top of it. We're fine. Okay. Bird needs to be taken care of immediately. I'm going to let him get close. Bird's gone. Oh, oh, he managed to, like, get through the gap. Okay, this is bad. Facing off this guy like this is not how I want to do it. Good, good. There's another wave, isn't there? Rubberkin. Ah, ah, Rubberkin! You devil! <laughs> he caught me! The Rubberkin trapped me. That wasn't fair. Oh my god. Okay, good. Get that to fire into a wall. AK boy needs to go straight away. Right, to our shop. Shop is like super valuable to us, so we need to get there as soon as. Good, good. Heart for 54. Yeah, I'll take it. Nope, shut up. We haven't been to either of our item rooms yet, which is kind of a good thing. Means we've got more power to grow and we're at full HP right now. Oh my god. Let's keep this going. AK guy. AK guy. Ah. He's so feist. He won't face mother hacker. For the, for the most part though, I was expecting the custom rooms to really make hard mode too difficult and have to disable them. None of them have been ridiculous so far. All of them have been manageable. Which I'm pretty happy about. Hey, that's really nice. Extra extra movement speed is going to be pretty crucial to us for just getting out the way of attacks. So here's another one. Here's another test. This one has ammo in it as well. Not that we need it, but... Oh, my God. You bastard. Luckily, these AK guys have a rebreathe before they start firing again. I got hit by that guy. No. Okay, I've got a blob here. Probably got the same enemies at the other side, if I know me well enough. Ah! Ah! Shotgun kin got me. I did lose a lot of health to this room. I don't, th I don't think that's a testament to it being too hard, though. I think it was fine. There is still another enemy about up here. This is the one thing I hate about my large rooms. I'm not I'm not too bothered about my large rooms, uh, but holy hell is it so annoying when one enemy's left and you can't find it. Helix, pretty good boss killer. Pretty good boss killer. I can, I can get on board with it. Can't afford any more HP. Right, let's try the boss. Hopefully this thing gets us through. Okay, we've got trigger twins. So you're saying there's a chance... Oh my god, I can't believe that hit me. It's really difficult because we, we've, we've kind of got to focus down a singular boss, but it's so difficult to do so. Ow. Use the double damage. I think he does get a few more attacks in this phase as well that we've got to be careful of. What the hell? How did that hit me? We got him though. We got him. We got a gold casing as well, probably means I'll buy some HP here. Was another full heart? Yes, there was. Right, good to go. Holy heck. We did find another secret room, and it's a witch's pot. Um, give us... Oh, I thought in two weapons, don't I? Oh, wait, no, I don't, no, I don't. Evolver's really good, thank you. Also, we can go and take the ammo from in here. Because it does not despawn. 
Nice. Okay. Evolver? Evolver is really good. As long as we can get it evolved, it's really good. I think we need to kill like 15 separate enemy types or something along those lines to get it fully evolved. I don't know exactly the amount. Okay. Very rarely see that room, actually. Okay, good. We don't need ammo for anything else, really, so I'll just take it for this. Ow! Immediately fucked that up. Oh! 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 The flares are really hard, too. Oh, my God. Just trying to get all these separate enemy types dead with the Evolver. There we go, it's evolved once. Once it's evolved once, you're kind of in the clear. Not really, but it gets much better. Oh, good, good. That's a different enemy type as well. That's an enemy type as well. Okay, I'd say like two more enemy types and we're going to evolve this thing. We should have this paired with this, actually. Don't have a key for that yet. But we'll get one. Be sure, we'll get one. We'll come back to this with a key of our dreams. Okay, this is a good room for us. There's one rank up. All of the phases of this count as their own thing as well. Their own mob type. So this works out really well. It evolves us really fast. Nice. What the fuck? 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 I need some HP. Please give it to me. Oh, there's so many good things here. Holy Grail's incredible. Bundle of Wands is just outright amazing. Because it can transmog things. Oh, we're not going to be alive long enough to really experience it all. Let's take the half heart for now and maybe come back for Bundle of Wands if we can. Oh, my god. Imagine a world where I'd take a half heart over Holy Grail. Imagine a world. Okay, good. A few more enemy types and run to the second to last phase. This this phase is always my favorite one. This phase is so good. A bit of distance there. A key, which is nice. I like to see that. The flares are so hard. Oh my god. They're so tough. They're so sporadic. There we go. We got our licky licky tongue tongue. Okay. Isn't this blank when we use a key or something? I can't remember. Boss time. Right, do we buy a key for a chest? Do we get bundle of wands? Oh, we can't afford bundle of wands. I'll just get a key, fuck it. Let's just go for it. Alchemical gun, actually pretty decent. Right. It's time to try the boss again. On one heart, I can't imagine this is gonna go well, especially when it's the Gorgon. Fuck. Fucking fuck. <laughs> Fucking fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Dead again to the Gorgon. 
again. Oh my god, absolutely crazy. Well, there you go. There's a few runs of hard mode. I hope you guys did enjoy and are enjoying hard mode. If you are, let me know in the comments. I always appreciate reading you guys' comments. There was a lot in the first episode, and I really do appreciate it a lot. I'm super happy to see that you guys are as invested and enjoying hard mode as much as I am. This series is probably going to be quite a long one, considering how difficult it is so far. We're having a real hard time, and I am absolutely loving the fact that we're having a real hard time. Yeah, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one.